digital miner. And how, yeah, how are you using up so much iron? I have uh, over a thousand unsmelted iron ore. Why? In Why any case, hello Why and welcome to episode 13 of Dirt Shield Infinity. In this episode, I am being retarded. Continue on. Was that an actual intro? or? That was an actual intro. Oh, way to go. Because <laughs> why not? Um, wow. That was kind of random to do an intro in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah. I realized I wasn't recording, so I should start. In any way. In any case. Um, things I've done since last time. I've uh, mined up the floor of my house. Move my digital miner to the nether, and I'm about to run out of ME space. I also made a modular turret to defend my ME system. Also, Curtis, I stole a stack of iron from you. You son of a bitch. He wants a stack of ore back, since you apparently have plenty of ore. I expect a 66% interest. When you return those iron to me, because that that's what you'll have when you get five times ore processing. Um. To my three times. You mean you want five hundred percent interest? Well, that'll do too. But yeah, well, okay, it should be a hundred percent. It should be more than what you're making back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Since he has a uh, thousand sun smelted doors that he can just give, could have smelted instead. Yeah, that's, that's true. You should just go take a stack of unsmelted door from him. <laughs> that's a good idea. No! <laughs> <laughs> I got paid for it. <laughs> what else have you taken, Chris? That's it. Uh huh. Like I'm, I, I borrowed the, I took the one steel from you that I asked for, like at the very beginning of the game. That's all I've done elsewise. Plus a stack of iron. It's fine. I think I have plenty of iron to spare. Can I have some? You don't need to. <laughs> sure, if you, if you feel like cheating, like Chris. <laughs> no, I'll just take it from Chris. That also that works for me. Cause that's not cheating, right? Chris. You wouldn't even notice, Chris. You have a thousand. <laughs> you really don't need to wait until you have five times ore processing. You know, three thousand iron ingots would be plenty. Just because it'd be plenty doesn't mean it's enough. Okay. Actually, I may go borrow some iron ore from Chris, and then repay him eventually. Once I have 10,000 iron ore, because I just generated out of the end. I mean, not the end. The magical space that you die in, the void. Pretty soon, we'll all, you and I, Boonder, will have mining lasers everywhere. Have you actually created one? No. I'm, I'm gonna make my uh, mechanism uh, reactor first. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I'm Good luck so with that. sidetracked on RF tools at the moment. It's because I want a, uh, I want my own desert, constantly day dimension. You should really my... just use mine since it's public. Yeah, and since you're currently not even powering it right now. If you keep doing stuff like that, I don't want to use any of your, your garbage. Um, okay, let me find my desert. No, I well, no, I'm still messing with RF tools anyway, so I might as well do it on my own. You don't All need to right, worry about dimension it. Dimension tab. I said don't worry about it. I'm not going to use it. Um. Okay, just so you know, um, one of my dimensions that I stopped using yesterday hasn't even run out of RF yet. Still not gonna use it. This one is out now that it's moved in. Very good. nice. I have 
I've linked my first book. Congratulations. Congrats. Nubcake. I keep pulling storage cells out of my ME drive because that's what my transfer node's connected to while I make all these uh, logic presses. Maybe. Just maybe. You can stop being retarded. I have used my first linking book to test. Congratulations. It works just how you said it did. Would. I now trust you. That's the first mistake you've ever made. <laughs> well, thanks. That's actually pretty good. Never made any mistakes till now, huh? I'm really impressed with myself. <laughs> Other than crashing the server and, uh... Well... Making you, Chris, modify your character file so you can get out of there. And, it yeah. deserved it. It deserved it. His character file was acting up. It needed to be taught a lesson. Uh-huh. And it wasn't deleted, so lesson not learned. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Die Hall. I also find it really weird that the factories produce light when they are functioning. Well... That's all. Well? <laughs> Dial OK! Yeah! What? I dialed up my dimension. Now I'm going to teleport to my dimension. And probably die because I'm sure I did something wrong. <laughs> as did long you as make it, it has power in it, you should be fine. Do you have a way to get back? Yep, I brought a miscraft book with me. Whoa! This dimension is crazy. Does it does it killed you yet? No. It's kind of killed the server. Well, it's generating stuff, so you just be patient. No. Also, I'm recording, so no worries. Is so? <laughs> what are you trying to say here? Face. <laughs> so, this dimension has no ground. What? Oh, it's a void dimension? I guess. The, like, everything in it is. Um, it's like a giant frame to a building that's being constructed. Like there's it's like stone beams to a building that's being constructed basically. Filled in with some dirt and some ores and stuff. In those beams. So it's the maybe best I don't understand what you just said but that sounds awesome. <laughs> you, you should just come and check it out. It's ID6. I've got a miscraft book here that links back to my base. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find dimlets in this though, is the thing. You if it's a void dimension, you can't. I'm assuming it's a void dimension. I mean I don't I don't how low can I, I go? Uh I... to one. Will I die if I go past that? you'll eventually fall out of the world and take damage and potentially die and then lose everything. I have flying? Even yeah, if you have flying. You can actually die in the void in creative mode. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty serious business, man. Yeah. They don't want you getting those orders that are down there. That's basically mm. what it is. Dimensional shard or Yay!
Wait, what? You got some Men. dimensional shard? Or? Yeah, they're all they're like I told you, there's like ores and stuff in these uh, if, beams, if you want to call them that. Like I said, you pretty much just have to come check it out because I don't really know how to explain it very well. All right, I'll come check it out. Why not explain anything very well? They're uh, each. It's like the beams are all just forming like a three-dimensional grid, I guess. And each uh, grid space is two two chunks by two chunks, and they're at the exact edges of the chunks. Interesting. Maybe it's just supposed to be a, a void area that generated incorrectly. I don't even know. Man. Sound high to me. It's ID6. Just come check it out. Just don't use up all my uh, uh, receiver charges <laughs> because I didn't bring anything with me. Charges. The uh, what's it called? Receiver transmitter? Or, no, the transmitter sends you, and the receiver receives you. The receiver only has a certain number of charges. Yeah. Legitimate question: What happened? But it's got like t enough for twenty uses, and then I need to. Uh, then I'll have to refill it. I'll bring uh. in. A a capacitor or something with me. This is really odd. I What's swear up? I'm not crazy, but I made 10 1K storage cells, and then I was actually making the cells themselves, and they disappeared and didn't give me the storage cells. Like, I only got half of the drive cells. I blame it on compact machines. I don't have any compact hmm. machines, so. According to my map, I was in a magical forest, and now I'm in tainted land. This is so weird. Yeah, hold on one second. All right, so I wasn't crazy. Uh, the the components definitely just straight disappeared, so I gave him back to myself. I think you're probably crazy. 100% crazy. You know, it's times like these that I think I need better friends. And not that it ready. I really don't understand how this whole infusion thing works. Neither do I since I've never done it. But I'm coming over to your house to check out this crazy dimension. Also, I see you on the map, Boonder. Okay. Um, I suppose that I need my personal shrinking device to get into your house. Probably. <sighs> Sidetracking me. Could have built my floor by now. Is it? ID6. Uh, the one on the right. Okay. I 
Uh, it's set to private, so can you unprivate it? Uh, are you sure? It was set oh. to private. I turned it to public. <laughs> 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 Sorry, but you're not allowed to have private. I fix it now. Yeah, jeez. Also, yes, the uh, the heck. This is. <laughs> you haven't had one like that yet. I didn't even know this was possible. <laughs> so does what I was saying make sense now? <laughs> yes! I don't understand how, but yes. So what does the dimensional war thing look like? Uh, what do you mean? Dimensional war thing? The infusey thing. Stuff to infuse. Um, the the blocks glow. So if you find anything glowing, mine them out. I didn't take that much. And they're down low or up high or? Uh, according to the wiki, it's below level forty. But I could have sworn I found some higher than that. I see an Ara node right next to this platform. There's aura nodes everywhere. First one, first one I've seen in plain daylight this easily. Oh, it might be a big one then. Don't know. Also, that's a lot of sand that you mined out. Yep, about 2,000. Jeez. Let me guess, Chris doesn't have any sand either. I didn't have any sand for a while. Why and did then you? I, then need... I mined some sand. Why did you need two thousand sand? I just mined until I got bored, and then I mined back. Huh. Um. Oh yes, that solar evaporation plant. Also, I'm guessing with an excavator, it gets really easy. It is. I need to make one of those. That would be very nice for collecting Dang it, I'm gonna this. have to set up my ore processing again. Because <laughs> I need a ton of steel. Wait, what? Set for it up again? the solar evaporation plant. You need steel for that? Yep. Hmm. They thought changed was, that. I thought it was mostly copper. It is mostly copper, but you have to make a bunch of uh, casings for it. Oh, each block takes one casing? Some take two, some take six. It requires a lot of steel, not copper. Yeah. Yeah, so where does the copper come into this? It used to be all copper, but now it's like mostly steel. Well, so it's basically all wire. Hmm. Like, each, uh... You better not take my steel. My iron. <laughs> uh, like, each, um... You should block do a requires a dynamic tank, which is four steel in a bucket, and eight copper. And you have to make it 18 high. It's just gonna require a lot. A dynamic... You get eight dynamic tanks for that, though, Chris. Yeah, it's still gonna take a lot bigger. So it's not as bad. You get for like each four blocks of steel in a bucket, you get eight of those. Oh, things. okay. Well, so that's, it's that's a lot better than I thought. Yeah, it's a lot better than what Chris described it as. Well, he just did, he didn't specify it, is all. He described it poorly. Also, I'm guessing that's the same recipe as it used to be. Maybe Probably, they, uh, and I just forgot it. Valve has changed. Mm, I could have sworn you had always said it was a bunch of copper. 
Yeah. Eight copper for every single one is a lot of copper. I don't know if you get more than one for each one, but... I'm not finding any dimlets in this desert dimension, by the way. Come on. Should be finding some. How far do I have to go from the platform? Sometimes it's quite far. In that other dimension, it was like... I went out a certain distance, and then I just instantly found them everywhere. Yep. Well, sorry about the server lag, guys. Don't care. Not there. Don't care, no hair? Going to bed? Why are you going to bed? Because... Lights hurt my eyes. Because I have a feeling that this electric pump is just plain not going to cut it. And I've got one pump and one electrolytic separator driving my yeah, but advanced I'm, factory. I bet that this uh, thing is going to be costing a bit more than that. Oh. Um, no, I don't need the tesseract and this world just yet. Could have done with bringing water though. You have your um, desert dimension being charged or not? No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in it and see how much it has left now that I have one of these things. It has 3.4 trillion RF left out of 4 trillion. Oh wow! So it's got plenty. Okay. Heading west this time. Alright, building my salination plant now, and I'll let you know if this dimlet actually works for it. Okay. I'd be really sad if it doesn't. Oh. That's a good point. Oh, also, I'm in here with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't work, I've wasted a lot of time for nothing. <laughs> no, we just have to make a new dimlet. With what? What With would different be different? Parameters. Than... Like an actual desert instead of a desert M. A desert M? Yes, that's the name of this biome. Oh, oh I didn't notice that. What does that mean? Desert Mesa. Oh. How high can these go? Also, sorry about the uh, lag. User definable height from 3 to 18, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
16, 17, 18. It is ridiculous how far out you have to go to find the first of these little bases in this biome. So I ran out of uh, solar evaporation blocks. <laughs> it wasn't quite enough? Nope. Hmm. It might be after I f change a little bit of it. How uh, how much short were you? Uh, I don't know. I'm currently adding the bits and bobs to the top and bottom that I need to add. Yeah, because what you need like uh, two ports and a controller or something like that. Does it? You need two ports. Do you need like an input and an output? Or is the input called something different? Oh yeah, it is an import and an output. <laughs> Export and it's not output, I guess. My bad. No, I'll, I understood what you were meaning. And yes, it works. It works. Oh my god, it works. <laughs> it's like doubled or whatever? Yeah, it has the 2x multiplier. Okay, good. <laughs> well, I guess I have to find find that first myself. That's what I'm doing. And then I didn't get any mechanical pipes. Dang it. <laughs> Whoopsie. I don't suppose you have any um, glowstone material dimlets? Uh, no, but I have a lot of glowstone. I need more than a lot. And I now have eight ultimate mechanical pipes. Material cheese ore dimlet? <laughs> yeah, cheese ore is uh, from the moon. Nice. Huh. So this is very compatible with other mods, I take it. RF yes. tools is. Very much so. I knew there was a reason I didn't make the electric pump. It doesn't pump water very fast at all. Did you say you put a mobs none modifier on here? No, this I didn't, one? but... Really, because I don't see anything. Huh, interesting. Oh, it's because it's the permanent day, so they can never spawn. Oh yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> Whoops. It's actually not so weird when you actually think. Hmm? It's actually not so weird when you think. Alright, into the dimension. Ooh, Frost Forest Dimmit. What? What is Liquid Hollow Tears? Dimlet. I am unsure. Like liquid gassed tears or something? <laughs> K 
Can gas tears be liquefied? I don't know. But my brine production is really high. That's good. And my mechanical pipe is currently completely filled because my transfer node of liquids is faster at pumping than it is. Take that electric pump. <laughs> You're awful. <laughs> can't get speed upgrades, can't get energy upgrades. You're worthless. Uh, what's the uh, item you need to change the uh, pipes and whatnot so that they export and import and pump and whatnot? Configurator. Configurator, thank you. Hmm. That is a really cheap item. a structure type dimwit. Eight. I made a drum before I came out. I am done. I am you haven't attacked any of these um, factorization giant things yet, have you? Nope. Or how difficult they are to defeat. Probably not too difficult if you can fly. If you couldn't fly, probably a pain in the butt. desert biome yet. Be a pretty rare one. I don't think it's rare, there's just so many biomes for it to spawn because of biomes of plenty. Oh, that could be. Alright, I now have a drum getting filled with brine. Yay. And it is at maximum speed for the solar evaporation plant. And it's still only making like eight or nine brine a tick. That's still a lot, isn't it? Might be, I'm not sure. If 
forget what the next step of it is. What do you use with the brine? Never done it. Done the five times multiplier before, so I have no idea. Mechanism four five X or tutorial. Or processing. Chemical injection. Okay, so chemical injection chamber. I'll go make some of that real quick. Need like a combiner or something too. Uh, tier three. You need a conject chemical injection chamber. Is it can um to make hydrogen chloride. Don't know how you get that. Made by electrolytic separator using brine. Wait. Oh, I see what you're saying. Boom. That'd be, like, really easy then to figure out. But no, I don't make that information available. At least not that I can find. Gosh, four times over processing. <laughs> you finally got it. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'm really happy that I have four times ore processing, but five times ore processing is probably not going to happen for a long while. I think what's going to happen next is I'm going to build up my base a little and actually get a roof on it, and we'll see where we go from there. But that, we'll have to wait until the next episode. Until then, bye bye now.